Chapter 12, Teaching Children to Communicate, Language, Literacy, and the Arts. In this chapter, we will discuss the importance of using language, literacy, and the arts to help children to communicate more effectively. When teachers begin to explore the topics of language development, they must have a basic understanding of children's language development. This begins by being able to identify the differences between receptive and expressive language. Receptive language is what a child understands when someone speaks to them. Expressive language is the ability to communicate and use spoken language. Secondarily, a teacher must understand that a child's vocabulary is supported by both expressive and receptive language. In addition, a teacher must understand the importance of helping a child develop grammar or syntax. This is the basic ability to write a grammatically correct sentence. Teachers must also be aware of the needs for children to develop and understand script language or the ability to use language in typical ways that people communicate depending on the setting or situations. Can you think of any examples of scripted language? Be prepared to share in class. Another component of understanding language development in children is the ability for, t for a teacher to work with language differences in children. This means that the teacher understands the impact a child's socioeconomic background has on their early language experiences. It, also, it is also important to have an understanding of the developmental continual, continuum of oral language. Within the text, you will find a comprehensive chart on this as well. Now, now I would like you to review the pages on language development with babies and toddlers and compare it to the information on the preschool language development. What are the differences you see? Are there any similarities? Be prepared to share in class. When using books, it is very important that a teacher use books in an interactive way. When working with small groups, it is it is good to start with a conversation about the book you are reading. In order to be more effective when reading books to small groups, be sure to keep your group numbers to four or six children. Predictable books are great to use with whole groups. Can you identify any other predictable books that were not identified in the textbook? Be prepared to share in class. Children who are dual language learners and are learning a second language need special attention from their teachers. Teachers need to understand that when children learn two languages, they do so in a simultaneously acquisition fashion. It's important to point out that the children in the U.S. are considered sequential language learners. How does this differ from simultaneous acquisition of a language? In addition, Teachers should have an understanding of the stages of learning a second language, which include stage one, home language use, stage two, nonverbal period, stage three, early language production, stage four, speech emergence, stage five, fluent second language production, and stage six, advanced language proficiency. Helping a child learn how to read begins with creating a literacy-rich environment. Secondarily, a teacher must implement teaching strategies to help a child develop early literacy language skills, including phonological awareness, alphabet awareness, print awareness, vocabulary, early writing, listening comprehension, and the motivation to read. Teachers should promote an appreciation of books within their students, as well as integrating literacy into all areas of the curriculum. Lastly, teachers should help students develop background knowledge that they will use later on in life. When helping students learn to read, teachers want to make sure that they utilize a balanced, balanced approach to reading, promote word identification, and build comprehension. Teachers must also have an understanding of the continuum of literacy learning in the primary grades. In kindergarten, children experiment with and use early literacy, literacy skills. 
First graders are beginning to develop their early reading and writing skills. Second graders are considered transitional readers and writers. And lastly, third graders are independent and productive readers and writers. When preparing reading instruction, teachers should ensure that they are using evidence-based strategies, including developing phonemic awareness, teaching phonics, building fluency, building vocabulary, and improving reading comprehension. Allowing children to communicate creatively through the arts has many benefits for children, including improving their cognitive development and promoting the development of symbolic representation. A teacher has many roles when it comes to helping children communicate through the arts, such as supporting creativity and engaging every child in the process. As a teacher works towards understanding a child's artistic development, a teacher must understand that children progress through several stages including their drawing. Teachers must scaffold children's learning so that their artistic abilities can develop fully. They must also promote the development of visual literacy. Music, movement, and dance are critical components of a great art program. All three can be integrated into other curriculum areas. These areas also help children focus on as well as connect with other cultural groups. All three improve a child's ability to remember and sequence. When we engage children in dramatizations, we help them connect a story to a, connect to a story or a script. Dramatizations help promote literacy skills in children as well. A teacher's role when implementing dramatization is to scaffold learning and make sure students have adequate props.